from the yellow suite, the fourth, the fourth suite in the collection, the color suites. Citrine is lovely because um, it's not too difficult to learn, but it has quite a lot of really important technical and musical elements that the student maybe hasn't seen before at this late beginner, early intermediate level, sort of grade one level. And even if they have, it gives them extra practice on it in a piece that sounds quite grown up, really mature and beautiful, really recital friendly. This piece has been performed at many of my recitals. So the pedal indication in this piece is pedal ad lib. And I think that's really important because as a student is learning to pedal, Pedaling is, we have to adapt our pedaling depending on what piano we're on. And we are always playing on a different piano than the one we practice on at home. So pedaling ad lib is a really good practice for a student to get into because it teaches them to listen to what this piece is asking from them in terms of pedaling. And this allows them to do that. It also introduces a really beginning idea of Alberti bass, which they will see loads of, and beautiful scaling passages that are melodic in the right hand. So this is Citrine in D major, Andante is the tempo marking, and it is the last movement of the Yellow Suite. The Yellow Suite is a very gentle, flowing, thoughtful suite, and students tend to really love it. The next suite is the red suite, We're beginning with a piece called Mahogany, and I will explore that next.